Hey, what's up guys? It's Frostfang here, or RB as some of my friends call me, and uh, I was tagged for the Q&A anime uh, YouTuber tag by Ada Oreo. Check out his channel, it'll be in the description. But, um, here we go. Uh, first question is, how did you choose your reviewer alias? Um, when I first started uh, with YouTube, I was actually named as like Swag Gaming HD, and I know it's a terrible name, but I was named as Swag Gaming HD, and I pretty much got that name because uh, I made my PlayStation uh, Network account when I was pretty much I think in the seventh or eighth grade, and it was Swag Kills, and it still is now. If you if you guys noticed, I haven't really changed it because. That's just a PSN name. I really don't care. And I used to get roasted all the time about my YouTube channel name, Slack Gaming HD, by Donnie, aka Anime Analyst, and Judah, Ada Oreo. Um, but I changed it to Frost Fang because uh, if you guys haven't noticed clearly, uh, I like Toshiro Hitsugaya, the character from Bleach. And I pretty much did Frost because, you know, he does a lot of cold uh, moves such as Hiyori and Maru. And Fang pretty much just came from the dragon in Hiyori and Maru. So, yeah, that's how I got Frost Fang. Uh, and etc. So, how long have you been uh, doing reviews? Uh, I really don't do reviews that much. I kind of do discussions a little bit, but I really haven't been doing reviews like that. So, I guess you can say how since how long have I doing reviews? So, I guess you can say uh from July 15, 2013, pretty much when I made my YouTube channel. Uh, I've been doing reviews, a couple of reviews on. Uh, I did one on a Pro X gaming controller. I did a couple on Naruto uh, manga chapters. Um, and I did a couple, I guess you could say, like, on certain games and stuff like that, and weapons from Call of Duty a long time ago when I was, like, in that, uh, Call of Duty phase, uh, pretty much. And, uh, the third question is, why did you start making reviews or, you know, making videos, I guess you could say? Um, so, uh... A long time ago, uh, when I was growing up on YouTube, uh, I used to watch uh, Ali A. Uh, the only the Naruto's I started watching, I don't really remember their names, but uh, I really didn't get into the Naruto like uh, videos like that until I started watching people uh, such as Fazu Gaming. Uh, I started watching Sheikah's Clouds and stuff like that, and I was pretty much uh, into Call of Duty a lot until I met like uh, Ada Oreo and like a few of, a few other people. Uh, they kind of you know got me into wanting to do Naruto because it was something that I really loved, and I didn't know that you know Naruto was as popular on YouTube as Call of Duty was during the time. So that's pretty much, guys, uh, why I started doing Naruto. But I started making videos, guys, uh, because uh, I wanted to pretty much get like I want the meet new people pretty much and i like want to get my point across kind of a little bit like i just want to represent myself out in the public world so that's pretty much why i started making videos and stuff like that and question number four is how many times do you watch an episode or a series while reviewing it um i guess i have decent analytical skills i guess and i have pretty good memory so uh i only watch like a video or an episode like maybe once or twice i think and then i do a review on it pretty much i have my thoughts made up right away because like i said i have decent analytical skills and i pretty much can remember a lot of stuff so uh like some of the people would ask me when i was making my discussions or my reviews they would ask me um do i actually look up the stuff that i talk about or is it just off the top well actually a lot of the stuff that i talk about is off the top like i just you know put it together and i guess i put it in a pretty decent order so uh, pretty much uh, that answers question number four. And question five is, what's your favorite genre to review and why? Um, I guess you could say I like reviewing anime. Uh, if that's a type of, no, 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 that's not a genre. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I like action animes. Uh, I really like to talk about the action ones and stuff like that. Like the ones where people die, such as Shingeki no Kaiujin, Attack on Titan, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, Parasite, The Maxim, and Terraformers. I like those type of animes because they really connect to me, and I really like uh, the animes that have like a lot of combat in them pretty much they just seem really interesting to me so i really i like to talk about them more so ever than the romantic ones and stuff like that but sora online was a pretty good anime and i haven't really done a review on it but i would actually do a review on that because it's an anime that connects to me in a, in a way i really like the virtual mmorpg uh type of uh plot i guess you could say and you know but uh question number six what's your most unfamiliar genre or unfamiliar type of anime um I would say uh, the comedy ones kind of really like. There's a lot of comedy ones going out there that people like. That people like to say for the people like to recommend for me to check out. Um, I don't really remember one right off the bat, but 
I don't really like those. Um, they're okay, but like I said, I like the ones like where, like you know, people will actually die and get killed off or whatever. There can be a little bit of comedy and a little bit of romance, but I kind of like the mi a mixture of the people dying and romance, such as how uh, Sword Art Online was kind of in the beginning, how people were actually dying off and stuff like that. I like that, and there was a little bit of romance between uh, Akirito and oh, I forgot her name. Uh, Asura, I think. I can't believe I forgot it. Asuna. <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. Can't believe I forgot that. But yeah, um, I kind of like that a little bit. Um, pretty much. So yeah. Um, what's one thing that persuades you to keep watching an anime after episode one? Okay, well, mainly it's the intro uh, to the actual anime that uh, actually makes me want to continue to watch it. Pretty much. And the second thing about it is if the first episode keeps me like on my feet because I don't like those animes that are kind of like slow paced like where it takes a while for the actual plot to build up what's it called uh, I think it's the rising climax or something like that or the rising tension there's an English word for it guys I don't know what it is right now but there's a word for it where um, it takes a really long time for the action within the story to actually build up and I don't like those type of animes I like an anime like right where it comes right off the bat like how it was in Attack on Titan and Tokyo Ghoul I like those type of animes like you know how in Tokyo Ghoul uh, it started off with Kaneki living his normal life then it automatically showed how he got killed by Rize when he was a human and he became a, t a ghoul and then in Attack on Titan it straight up jumped up and just showed how uh, he was basically outside living a normal world he was finding blocks of wood with uh, Mikasa and then all of a sudden uh took a little a little while i mean it was kind of boring a little bit and then it just next thing you know you just see the colossal just come out of nowhere so it really picked up i really liked that that was really good how it just picked up so that's one thing that keeps me watching anime after episode one and my favorite no what is your favorite japanese or english voice actor um i would have to say yuri lewenthal uh he's the guy who's the voice actor of sasuke uchiha nobody knew i just really like the lines that sasuke makes and stuff like that but uh, as far as Japanese goes, um, I would have to say I like Aaron Yeager's uh, voice actor. I don't know his name. Sorry, guys. I probably should have did the research before. But I like Aaron Yeager's uh, voice actor uh, in the Japanese version of Attack on Titan. But yeah, those are my favorite voice actors, though. Um, English and Japanese or Japanese. And for number nine, favorite anime soundtrack. Okay. I would have to say Bleach because Bleach has like the best soundtrack and I know so many songs right off the bat from Bleach that are just amazing um, such as B13A which is a song that Ichigo had when he fought against Aizen uh, the final battle between him and Aizen which is a really great battle I use it every now and then during my storm battles or whatever or pretty much when I'm just trying to get hyped or whatever um, also Invasion which is a great song that I heard during the Bleach Fade to Black movie um, no no, it wasn't that movie it was the Bleach movie too um, the Diamond Dust Rebellion which was the movie with my Ninja, well, my Soul Reaper, you already know. Toshiro Hitsugaya, that song played in that one. Really great soundtrack. Um, really well, really great song. And I like Soundscape to Ardor, which is like basically like a song that uh, Ichigo ha played when Ichigo was getting destroyed by Okiota. So yeah, and as far as question ten, favorite anime song that you crank up and dance to? Um, that song Luna that came from Parasite. That song just be having me so crunk, I swear to God, boy. You just do not know. When that song come on, I just be... Alright, 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 alright. But yeah, that song that song is definitely a crank up, man. And what anime song are you currently addicted to? Hmm. That's a good question. I really don't know, guys, because I don't listen to that many anime songs, like, over and over. Oh, Parasite the Maximum. The Parasite the Maximum main theme. I like that one. Parasite the Maximum, nobody think that song is just, oh my gosh, I listened to that song, like, 15 times in a row, and I never got tired of listening to it. Like, you guys should really check that anime out as well. And... Do you like to buy anime merchandise? If so, what do you collect? Okay, um, I have a couple of uh, Naruto accessories. Um, I have the Leaf Village headband. 
Um, I actually had two, I actually have two of them. I had the old one, which is like the one that came from Walmart. That was kind of funny looking when you tie it around your head. And I have one that I bought from the store where I live in North Carolina, known as OnQ. And it's like it's actually a nice headband. Um, when I first got it, it looked kind of weird, but I actually have that one as well. Um, other than that, I have a couple of posters, like maybe six or seven, but I don't have like keyblades and stuff which i always wanted a keyblade from kingdom hearts that would be kind of cool but and eh, not not that many merchandise around here but definitely something i would like to do um what is your guilty pleasure anime so in other words an anime i guess you could say that i just have to watch it just makes me feel some type of way i guess um attack on titan i like to rewind the scenes uh where levi goes in and just destroys the titans and, t and his song comes on it was like a nightmare man sent for me i just like watching that part over and over again it just makes me feel like some type of way and i like watching the scene where farland church and uh isabella died that scene makes me kind of sad a little bit but yeah um what anime made you cry um a particular anime never really made me cry but um bleach the first movie the memories of nobody when senna died that made me cry like really bad yeah that was the first anime that actually made me cry and clanad clanad after story I don't know the dude's name. My brother just recommended it to me. I guess it's Nagisa and Nagisa or something. When that girl died, when, when his daughter died, and he said mommy died or whatever, that part made me really sad. Um, it just really got to me. It was just, you know, but the only anime that actually made me shed tears and whine like a mule um, was Memories of Nobody, uh, Bleach Movie 1, when Senna had died. I don't know why I had a connection to her, though. Cause now I just don't care. Guess I was young. What food do you eat when having an anime marathon? Oh my god. Okay. Pizza. Pizza and an ice cold Pepsi is just what's up will make my day. Okay, so like my mom and dad are gone or whatever and it's quiet in the house. I would just lay down in my bed and turn on my PlayStation or my computer, whichever I use. I kinda use my PlayStation or my phone and just get on crunchy roll. And I would just get a slice of pepperoni, Italian sausage pizza with some Parmesan cheese on it, and an ice and a glass, well, a glass of ice cold Pepsi, and I would just be in heaven, my nigga. Like real talk. But what anime are you currently watching right now? This is the final question, guys. Um, so let me see. What am I watching? Okay, I'm not really watching a lot of anime right now. Uh, I'm trying to really get into it, but I'm going to watch Project K, okay? Ada Ninja Storm HD, if you guys don't know him. I'm going to watch Project K, dude, okay? All right, he recommended uh, me to watch Project K. Um, he said it was a really great anime, and he's actually watching it for his second time, I think. But I've heard it was pretty good, though. I heard it was really good, though. But I'm going to watch that. It's on Netflix, guys. But currently watching right now, I haven't really been watching that much anime lately. Um, I just been playing a lot of Storm with uh, my friends and stuff like that, and editing videos. I haven't really been watching anime like that, so I guess that's why my life is a little dry right now. But I'm gonna get back into some anime. I'm definitely gonna start off with Project K, and then I'm gonna move on to some other animes. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that completes my Q&A anime YouTuber tag channel, uh, history and extra, whatever you wanna call it, the origins of Frost Fang, whatever you guys gotta say. Um, I don't really know who I'm gonna nominate, but. Uh, Hope you guys really enjoyed this Q&A. Uh, I probably t taught you guys a lot of stuff you never knew, really knew about me. But um, I really like that uh, I was tagged. And I appreciate it, uh, Oreo or Juju Bean. I uh, really appreciate it. And once again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.